Hi guys, this tutorial is on simple motor movement, uh, a method for simple motor movement in the RWTH Mindstorms toolbox. Uh, so let's begin. The, the, you'll be given a file, or should be given a file. Uh, example motor movement dot m. It's a script, a map mode script uh, that allows you to move a motor. Uh, shows you how to do it. So we'll go ahead and open it, uh, and we'll have a have a read through. Uh, it's very well commented. Uh, you should be able to get what's going on. First up, there's a preparation stage. So this should go at the start of every one of your scripts that you make when you're talking to the robot, purely because if you don't do this. Uh, some, a COM port might be left open by mistake or something, you'll f run into all sorts of weird errors. Uh, if you just chuck this in the top of your script, uh, it should work fine. Uh, so just these clear all, close all, and uh, COM close NXT all. Uh, then you open a connection to the NXT down here. Uh, that's, that's all that bit of code does there. It sets H to um, the com open NXT, which is then uh, sent to the, oh well you set a default in the toolbox. Um, so this is part of the program here, setting some parameters, just a simple power parameter. Uh, Q1 stands for the, the first joint, um, but these are the angles that I want uh, the motor to move. So this is an example of how to put in a list of angles. Uh, you could just set this as one number uh, and so forth. But in this example, I gave it a list um, and it'll consecutively go down the list and a pause time between angles. So when it reaches an angle, it pauses there for a bit. Um, okay, the next important thing on this is creating the motor objects, the next, the next section down. So this section, um, so this toolbox creates is object orientated so it creates an object for each motor which then has a lot of parameters uh, inside it whether that whether that be like its position whether it's um, like coasting or braking all those all those kind of things it's in the manual you can read up all about it um, okay so that that's what this is going on here um, the taco limit and hold brake are basically telling it to stop. Uh, when you when it when it finishes its movement, it stops on the spot, doesn't keep coasting. Uh, okay, so preparing the motor just means just again like the very start of the um, script, just just telling it to start it stopped. Okay, um, now we get into uh, our main our main setup for this. Uh, script. The this is this is a loop that goes through each one of those values in Q1, which is our motor angles, um, and then checks to see whether they're greater than the motor's position. So this MA data is uh, motor dot A. Remember, is our object, our motor object, motor A, uh, and we're reading from NXT. So that's getting all the data from the motor from the NXT and dumping it, dumping it into uh, another object called uh, MA data. Uh, then the, the next line is grabbing the position of the motor, the, the position as it is now, not the position we're moving to, the position that it, it is now um, from MA data. So uh, MA data is there. Um, and dot position is obviously its position. A simple if statement to check whether the motor should move to the left or to the right. Um, if it's greater than, if your, if the, if the angle you need to move to is greater uh, than the one that it's already at, essentially that's what it's saying. Um, then move in one direction uh, and vice versa in the else statement. Uh, so this is the move. Uh, so setting the taco limit is where you actually move the motor, um, and waiting for waiting for it to reach there is this bit here. So send so set the taco limit, send it to the NXT, wait for it to uh, 
get there, essentially. Uh, and then this pause is just that pause time we set at the very top, two seconds, just so you can see when it reaches its um, point. Uh, same thing again, just a um, inverted, see there, meaning the motor moves the other way. Again, pause time. Uh, and finally, there's just some, um, again, cleaning up. Uh, as I said before, if you don't close down connections to the NXT, you might run into a lot of uh, trouble. So just do this at the end of every, every script. I'd suggest getting it. Um, this close, uh, com close NXT is very important. Make sure you put that at the end of every script. You might run into trouble if you don't do that. Uh, and also the stop motors. Uh, just it's just good coding practice. All right, so let's see this actually work. I will just run it again, pressing F five, uh, and hopefully it runs through to the robot. There you go. Waiting two seconds again. Yep, just a couple of little rotor movements like that. Uh, because of the gear ratio that I've got on there, I haven't changed it at the moment. Um, well, I haven't I haven't put any calculations in to allow it. So in the future, uh, in future lessons, we'll show you how to do that, how to set your gear ratio up so that when it says move to 270, it actually spins the whole way. Uh, but this is a good starting example of what's going on, good base to build up off. There's other ways of moving motors as well with this toolbox. Uh, we'll try and show you that as well, but this is a good way to start. And I believe that's the end of the lesson.